this other side of the EG lineup. They're they're adapting and it looks really good when it's not just four heroes farming. I mean, you look at this liquid lineup and it's it, they have the potential for a team fight, right? But Evil Geniuses is just playing this so aggressively and creating so much chaos, and every single time they get a kill, they move, right? They're not doing the thing where you get a kill and then push in the lane to be able to hit the tower. Oh, nice toss back. Something big for them as they want to jump in, but Abed is here as well. Can they kill off this Night Stalker in time before the Storm Spirit brings them all out? Actually, Storm is fairly low on mana. He's got to be a little bit careful, but now the White Hole is down, trying to chase down a bit more. Quake Bug going to get killed by the Purification. They lose the Coddle. Now they're going to lose Boxy. He is also under fire, and the Pango, maybe, possibly? All right, yeah, he's, comes back. he's not getting away. It's, uh, it's a rough one. When you have to build Yules to try and chain stun these very mobile heroes like Night Stalk can beat superior like team fight. You know, like the they don't have a counter to the Enigma Black Hole while well, their counter is being <laughs> oh just better God. than you. God. Oh, Abed, he's gone in a bit deep, my dudes. As they get the Aegis one time. Do they have Rolling Thunder? Do they have anything to disable him? Ah, uh, baby. No, it's not going to be their time. Malphus <laughs> comes out, but I mean that was a dominance move. Might have gone a bit too far. Well, that's not going to be a lane of barracks because they no longer have Aegis on oh. Storm Spirit. Oh, no. Maybe it is, actually, as they turn back into them. Rolling Thunder comes out from Boxy. RTZ chases forward. They get the pull in onto two, doing so much damage. Does get bashed through the midst of it, but now they've gone in with Boxy, and he's eventually going to be punished as another Static Storm comes on down. That one is an Aghanim's upgraded one as not even the fountain is fully safe. I love the fact that the fight started and you said, yeah, it probably is team afterwards. But they, they need his disables, right? They they need that control all in one area with the Will-O-Wisp, with the, the Phantasm, and, well, you would hope that Aghanim Scepter soon for Koifa. I mean, the other thing, too, about this is you can see immediately Boxy is going to queue up a, a BKB because he can't deal with time dilation. Yeah. He just doesn't have an answer. And now they're chasing down Tagia, trying to run away. Arrow, a little bit of a zoning arrow there. He throws one back now onto the Void. As the X is going to come on out. Boxy again, caught by that time dilation, just doesn't have an answer. Can't go anywhere. Only thing left to him is Echo Slam, which would not feel that great as they kill off that Earthshaker. Never have I seen 4,200 gold spent in a way that felt less or so. As Mick is going to get bashed down to dead and dusted. Liquid lose another triple kill for Arteezy. My god! They are just destroying them. Yeah, I think... Did they see the Invis rune or not? I don't know if they did. Oh, Ramses is right behind though, so they know. Yeah, they're gonna push in here now. Pop the Moonlight Shadow now, looking for a follow-up as they want to try and find Boxy. They don't know the about Koikva. <laughs> ah, just out of there. Let's get this teeth. But now they drop down the Sentry Ward, and Koikva, he's looking to blow somebody up. But that Invis rune is wearing off now, and the X comes out onto Boxy. He is in some trouble as they jump in. They drop down the Will of the Wisp. Torrent comes out afterwards. Chronosphere is going to connect. Koikva there, trying to play Interrupt, possibly. Echo. Does he get the Echo Slam oh, off? Boxy, no! He didn't drop it! And Fly comes in for the save. That was so clutch, and now looking for a bit more. Ramsey's trying to run down Koikva, but doesn't look like they're going to be able to find it. I mean, this is a tanky crew. It's maybe a hope, maybe a prayer, or maybe it's all for naught as Koikva tries to run away. Fly did go down, but they've got the X now as they get the pullback in and a second arrow for Koikva right in his dome. That man is dead. They popped a Phantasm to try and chase Boxy, making a little bit of chaos. They don't have time dilation for this fight, but the GA has already come out. Stolen GA. All right, Rubik doing absolutely everything that he can in this one as they try and bring down Crypt, but it's not going to happen. As the GA comes out, another X onto Mike. Quick bunch there coming from Crit, still living. BKB finally coming out, but he's now bashed. Fissure, Chase, looking for more. They've got the Kunkka controlled. Everything thrown out on them again, but there's going to be the Chronosphere on the back lines. Is it going to be enough to take them all down? BKB, Chase down, kill off. That Rubik, and it was a beautiful chrono coming from Arteezy as they find another one. And EG again, just too much to deal with. I like the way Arteezy separated himself away from the Kunkka, said, hey, sorry, buddy, sorry, Abed, but you're going to be... <laughs> that sounds really scary. Yeah, pulling him deeper into that little Will-O-Wisp that uh, 
that's always really annoying. Any positioning, like Rubik's kind of annoying for that reason. If you can get Venge and Coddle together for the swap magic, oh. keeping people inside of that will o wisp is the most infuriating thing in Dota right now. Okay. Trying to farm out this triangle, get himself to that next item, something. Just make him feel a little bit stronger. But guess who's here yet again? Every time you think you got a safe space, it's not there for you. You will step your lift up, but the silence is already coming out. And now the will of the wisp, that's going to be Mickey dead. Looking like they had another one in the dust as Boxy tries to run away. But Arteezy is there, Abed is there, EG is there, and Liquid are all gone. Blink Dagger up for Arteezy. As you can see, that Blink Silence is devastating mixed with the Coddle. It's not just about the double void. Much faster. We need to attack Liquid head on. I think one of the best things they did was make sure that Boxy had a pretty bad lane. Mickey wasn't able to do anything in his lane. And then, you know, Stormchair got a free kill on Koifo, so that's a win too. You lose three lanes in Dota right now. Oh my oh. god, BKB Black Hole comes out. Can they bring them down in time? It's only two out of all. And Arteezy trying to walk away, taking a good bit of damage as they drop down the Static Storm. Still living for now as they get the walk away. Abed shows up as well. Nobody has died from evil geniuses. And Liquid with a great last attempt, but it looks like they're going to come up just slightly short as the chat wheels are flying. People are dying. Oh my god, it's all too easy for EG here. That was your last all in maneuver, I'm pretty sure. And you could tell as well that it, it felt like they knew that it was coming. Like, yeah. Ramsey's kept throwing out those Heavenly Graces and any other hero besides PL. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, literally anybody. <laughs> but yeah, given that it's that. a PL, I, I still think that they'll probably potentially be able to do it. Um, it just is like, you know, if they're able to keep it even through these night times, particularly now until 10 minutes, and then, of course, the big one coming around when likely our tour will have the Aghanims. That's going to be the spooky moment. The uh, the Enigma certainly enables the Pango's lane quite a bit by being able to have this like uh, <laughs> presence. In Anticipating the jump from Storm and maybe hoping to get a black hole when he does go in on one of the backline heroes. But right now it's just Ramses that's able to sit behind and keep all fine and dandy. Shiva's guard is going to be coming out in just a second, it looks like, for Storm. Which does mean that he does not have buyback. But it is feeling like even if that happens, the jump in comes, they find the black eye, looking for the black hole. It's pretty good, but there's no follow-up damage. And the BKBs get popped right as the Rolling Thunder comes through. They've got the Willow of the Wisp doing all the damage to Koikma in the world. Taiga's dead. That's no more Enigma. That's GG. Well, I that's a 35,000 net worth lead by 32 minutes and uh, not going for it at all. Yule Scepter build. So that'll definitely help against a lot of these silences and Coddle. Bottom lane could get blown up by the combination of the Wave of Terror plus all that physical damage. And then up top as well, they find Koikva not able to get anything off. So a couple kills traded off there. Liquid not feeling quite as good about it as Arteezy gets pulled back in. They've got the Malefice there as well, trying to escape, but Boxy almost oh. there and they will get the kill. That was close. Ramses was closing in for the purification. If he gets that off, there's no way they kill Arteezy, and they're probably losing a couple heroes. And Sania, well, he could try and TP away, but I think he knows Crit is around, and he'd probably just get glimpsed at some point anyway. Uh oh, Mickey runs into a double damage. Storm Spirit, that's not good. He just used his Doppelganger. Oh, and they can get it. Malefice trying to live, but it's not going to happen. Abed is low on mana, but nobody is nearby to help out. Everybody else is dead. He just three-shot Enigma. That Enigma had out in the map, you know, spreading it pretty nicely here. They they did get a lot of push going on there's, bottom. They're actually coming to try and help coming. him. Nico Baby's here. Liquid are a little spread thin. Can we see an opening? Two hero Fissure with the Echo. Follow-up damage coming through. Boxy's being controlled. Hans gets arriving to the fight. Can they get this Legion? or this Razor, that would be huge. BKB hops away, says, no way, I am out. So uh, just an ancient apparition who bought back. This is the reverse play. And they had the anticipation, I'm sure, that this was going to be a and on top of him right at the oh, start. A huge pretty. old jump in. Can they bring him down in time, though? It's pretty freaking low. Ramses manages to get away, and there's going to be the GA. Try to run, but it's not looking all that great. Mick A controlled, bashed, and his armlet is wearing down as the CK is going to get finished. 
And now Crit got his eyes on Insania, leaps on top of him, and the poor old man gonna be hunted down by the Priestess of the Moon. One more arrow for good measure, because why not? EG are looking so freaking good right now, as eventually they get the pull back in and the kill off on the Taiga. Triple kill for Abed. Has Boxy cast 